In this video, I'm going to be answering a question that a viewer asked me in regards to what's the uh, expected salary for EMT or paramedic in the city of New York. Here it goes. Uh, before I get into that, I would like to mention what are the educational requirements to work as an EMT or paramedic in the city of New York and most likely all throughout the nation is just a GED or a high school diploma. And on top of that, you also need a driver's license. In New York State, uh, you don't need a special driver's license to be able to drive an ambulance. I'm not sure what the other states are like, but in New York State and New York City, there is just a need for a regular driver's license. I believe it's a class D driver's license. For the training to become an EMT could be anywhere between three to six months. The three month course, from my understanding, because the time I did it was in 2003, so it was a very long time ago. But from what I understand, the three month course is just an accelerated course and the six month course is the regular time course, which is like two days a week, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the paramedic uh, certification could last anywhere between 11 months to two years. The 11 month course is just for certification. Uh, the two year course or the two year program is for an associate in paramedicine. Now let's start with an EMT starting salary in New York City. Basically, in New York City, you have three options amongst others where you can work. The first one is a private ambulance company, the second one is a hospital based, and the third is the fire department. Now, when you work for a private ambulance company, you're basically working for, like it says, a private ambulance company. It's privately owned, their budget is different, their logistics is different, and they're basically contracted by different nursing homes and different hospitals throughout the area that you serve to provide the service and these tend to be the less the least paying jobs at the beginning but they're the ones that are willing to accept you without experience so usually people end up working here at the beginning and they end up doing like into facility transports transporting a patient from the nursing home to the hospital from the hospital to their house amongst other type of transports um, you also have the opportunity to work in a hospital based system where an IV lead hospital in New York City, for example, are uh, much better paying. But to get there, you have to have a clean driver's license. You have to have, most, most of the time, they, they prefer for people to have experience, depending on what hospital you go, because some hospitals will hire you right after getting your certification. And the department is where you go when you're interested in doing EMS long-term. Let's say you understand that for you to get your retirement and your pension, it's gonna take 25 years, but you love working in EMS so much that you don't mind waiting that long. And also, another reason why people go into the fire department, besides the fact that they're interested in retiring uh, from the fire department, is a city job. City jobs tend to be more stable. Um, also, you have the opportunity to go on and do other things, like become a supervisor within the fire department. You have the opportunity to become a firefighter within the fire department, and amongst other, um, progression opportunities. So, uh, the salary for a private ambulance company for EMT can be anywhere between $12 to $14 per hour. A hospital based is $19 to $29 an hour. And the fire department starts their EMTs at $33,000 per year. And uh, experience, I guess that's a relative term, but basically anyone who has more than six months experience to 20 years experience is the range for what I mean experience. Um, the hospital, the hospital base will start you off at twenty-four dollars an hour when you're an experienced EMT, and I've heard of hospitals that pay their EMTs well over thirty dollars an hour. Um, and the good thing about the private ambulance company is that they're negotiable. So depending on how much experience you have, depending on how you carry yourself, what type of prior education you have, and how, and amongst other factors, they're flexible. They're much more flexible. They're you tend to be non-union, or when they are union then you have to get paid the, the amount that they offer you. But when they're non-union, you, you can negotiate your salary. And with the fire department uh, salaries that I'm mentioning, is without overtime. Uh, starting paramedic salary in a private ambulance company can start anywhere between 21 to $24 an hour, depending on which company you have. In New York City alone, there's, if I'm not mistaken, over 10 different amb private ambulance companies. So it all depends on where you end up working. The hospital base you know, could start you anywhere between twenty-eight to thirty-five dollars an hour. I know guys that are getting paid forty dollars an hour as a paramedic in New York City, and the fire department starts you off at forty-four thousand dollars per year. An experienced paramedic 
can make anywhere between 25 to who knows how much in a private ambulance company because like I mentioned before your salary is negotiable and the amongst more certifications you have the more you get paid so if you have your uh, Long Island certification if you have your Westchester certification you're worth more if you have your critical care paramedic extra training like if you have the critical care paramedic extra training then you're worth more to the company so they pay you more hospital base can start anywhere between 29 and there's literally no limit to how much you get paid so basically what i'm trying to say is there's different hospitals for example that they give you a dollar raise every year no matter what so if you've been there for 18 years they started you off at 29 and now at 18 years they've been raising your salary up so these people these experienced paramedics are not common but you will find guys that get paid anywhere between 40 to 50 dollars an hour in new york city uh, the fire department starts their experienced paramedics at 61 uh, after five years experience the fire department pays 61 thousand per year now remember this is without overtime uh, and to give you some success stories for uh, EMTs and paramedics that I've met um, that use the salary that they received on the ambulance and use that money to do other things. Basically, I've met people that, I, I met one guy, he worked as a paramedic, he saved up all his money and he is literally a real estate mogul now in New York City. Like he, I met up with him, we hung out. We hung out a couple of times and he told me how if he wanted to now, he's at the point where he could buy his house, his houses or his property cash. And he's got a property all over New York City. So that's one success story of a paramedic that I've met. Uh, he's actually served as a mentor for me too. I know, one per, I know one paramedic who's living the American dream, literally. We were working in the same area where he was living and I stopped by his house with him. And he literally had a white picket fence in his house. Um, and he did that with his salary as a paramedic. And I know I also know of EMTs and paramedics that are working two different jobs and they're making well over $2,000 a week after taxes. And one of them is actually setting himself up to retire at 40. Um, the opportunity being that the shifts are so flexible to only work three days a week. If you work three days a week, that gives you four days off. You're still making a pretty decent amount of money. And you can use your time for what's really important, like spending time with the family, pursuing hobbies, or pursuing future endeavors if you're interested. Uh, that's pretty much how much you can expect the EMT or paramedic to get paid in the city of New York. And just do keep in mind that this job has many reasons of why you should do it. I'm going to link up here uh, one of the videos where I give 15 reasons as to why you should become an EMT or paramedic. But when you think about it, you just all you need is a GED. To, to qualify to take the EMT course and after that you can progress and do other things so um, working as an EMT or paramedic it's it's really not that difficult to get into you have to obviously like what you do but after you're in you could live uh, you could live a decent life you could live a middle class uh, lifestyle and if you you know if you spend your money wisely and, and live below your means for some time you'll be able to have financial freedom if you spend your money wisely so um like in the example of the real estate mobile that i mentioned earlier thank you for listening thank you for watching find me on instagram twitter facebook and please remember to subscribe share like and leave a comment if you have any uh requests for any videos that you would like for me to do in the future please let me know i'll get to them as soon as possible and thank you for watching peace